Next, I want to share an assignment with you guys that uh, is sort of a bit on the fly, but this, this wasn't originally planned when, you know, at the start of the semester, but given what's been going on the last several weeks, it seems like uh, it, it's screaming me, it's screaming at me in the face. So we're going to do a little exercise. It's due, uh, start a class next week, so you have a week to work on it. shouldn't take you very long. It should take you just, you know, 15 minutes or whatever, but um, uh, that is to deal with the rhetoric of wetlands that we keep hearing, specifically the swamp, that's, that's completely inundating a lot of our discourse now in the nation. And as a class that worries about, that we're thinking about how to restore wetlands and things, right, we discussed this in the context, in the historical context and moved on and started talking about things. Uh, <laughs> we're being dragged back down into the swamp, if you will, it seems. So for example, this is a cartoon from a couple days ago. Um, and this, this rhetoric is increasingly being used. And sometimes how we phrase things is just the phrasing and, you know, what have you, we go on. The intensity with which this illustration is being used, in particular, this is, this is um, in relation to the um, political situation in Washington. And the notion is that Right, that Washington is an evil place, and there's a bunch of evil things that happen there, and there's been much talk of certain white knights going in and so-called draining the swamp. Right, implicit in there is the notion that a swamp is a bad thing, swamp is an evil thing, swamp is a scary thing, a menacing thing, something something we should fear, be worried about, stay away from, and the hero is the person that destroys the wetland, right? That, that's literally what we're talking about, right? Draining the swamp, taking away the hydrology from the system, if you will, right? Taking away the functioning of that system because we believe that system is, is something we don't want to have. And so um, that you know, may or may not have utility to the political discourse, but for those of us that are working on wetlands, this is kind of a thing, right? Now it's getting this, a lot of progress, I would, I would argue, has been made over the last many decades, at least in our society, to view wetlands as something that aren't necessarily scary, th things that aren't necessarily um, you know, a, a threat to you and your family, but actually is something that's really cool and something that has value and something that has a lot of ecosystem services to offer uh, all of us. This discourse is working strongly against that. So, um, so what I've done is I've created a Google document, and so I just emailed it to everyone. Um, I believe everybody's in the shared folder, so you should have access anyway, but I just also emailed you a link if you can't find that or how to get to it, what have you. So it's a very simple assignment. I just want you guys to think about this primarily. Uh, you gotta do two things. Um, the first is uh, provide an example, a recent example, and by recent I mean 2016, recent example where someone references wetlands in a negative light. You know, so drain the swamp is, a, is the phrase that everybody's using. It could be that, or it could be any other, any other illustration that you guys wish. You're just going to go in there, you're going you're gonna, to uh, put that link in there for me, or if you don't have a link, if it's something from something you're reading, you could, you could take a picture of that, you know, that, that text, or if it's a, some artwork, what, it, it could be anything. Although I suspect most of you guys will find web articles, blog posts, and stuff, and that's fine. So if that's the case, if it is an electronic thing, just put the link up there. But then tell me the reference, right? So this came from blah, 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 Chicago Tribune on December whatever, right? So you got to give me the thing. Give me the evidence, the quote, the whatever. And then the, then the reference, where it came from, et cetera. And then, uh, and then a one sentence, just interpret this. So this is an example of someone... Uh, using a swamp as a negative image, in this case, in the context of state legislature or something like that, right? It doesn't have to be political, although I suspect a lot of them will be, but it could be any, any aspect of our society that people um, made this reference. Uh, and then um, also, uh, it should be obvious, if you guys log in with your Google account and everything, it should be obvious who, who get, gave what response. But just because I sent out the anonymous link, also just jot your, your name down right next to it, just so to double, make sure I definitely give you credit for it. Um, now, anything is possible except for something somebody else already did, right? So uh, the next 
so if you go to put yours in and somebody has already entered it, that doesn't count, right? So I want, I want, I don't want everybody to give me the same example, right? I want, I want everybody to find their own unique example. So the first one is, uh, is from this year, 2016. Um, and it can't be that, so that is my example here from the LA Times with that cartoon, that article, that's, that's from an op-ed and that don't, you can't use that. So, so that's my example one. So, uh, so other than that though, as long as somebody else hasn't picked it, it's fair game and you guys can put it in there. So that's 2016. So are other political cartoons okay? Other political cartoons are cool. Yeah. Just as long as you, so if you had that, I'd put, put the picture in there and put the reference so we, I know, right, can properly attribute it. Um, but yeah, political cartoons are fine. Uh, whatever, any example of people y using um, a negative inference to, to describe wetlands or using wetlands to imply something bad. And then on the, on the uh, historic example, which is anything before 2006, so I'm calling history anything before the last 10 years. So it could be 2005, it could be 1905, it could be whatever you want. This one, I do want um, a multimedia example. So, so this one, uh, it, could be, it could be a web article, that's fine. It could be a song, song lyric is cool. It could be some, anything, anything. So basically, the, the top one um, can be, it is from this year, the bottom one is from back in the day, and, and Particularly, multimedia is probably going to be easier for you to find pictures and things like that. So, an ominous looking picture or a political cartoon or what have you. Okay? So, same thing. You're just going to put, put the thing in there, paste it in there, etc. So, before you, before you go to look for your, before you go do this assignment, I would suggest you go to that Google document and look and see what other people have done so that if you find it, you know that you shouldn't use that. You should find another example. Okay? So, that's just that. So, so let, let, let's, let's think about a little more purposefully the dialogue that's happening in our country right now where, in my opinion, wetlands are kind of being thrown under the bus a little, a little bit here.